Why is the Jeep Key Fob not detected? The Jeep Key Fob is a device that allows you to remotely control your Jeep. It can be used to lock and unlock the doors, start the engine, and even open the trunk. Jeep Key Fobs are a great way to make sure that your Jeep is always secure and they can also make life a lot easier. If you've ever been stranded in the middle of nowhere with a dead battery, you'll know how useful a Jeep Key Fob can be. However, sometimes the Jeep key fob not being detected can be a frustrating experience. There are a few different reasons why this may occur, which include a dead key fob battery, loose connection, or faulty key fob. Welcome to our YouTube channel, Auto V Fix. We bring you exciting topics about automobiles and provide lucid explanations on car-related issues and their essential components. We share helpful and professional tips to help you maintain your vehicle. Today, I will be talking about an essential and exciting topic. Why is the Jeep key fob not detected? Ten reasons why your Jeep key fob not detected. One, bad key fob. In this case, you will need to replace the entire key fob. There are a few different things that can cause a key fob to become faulty. The most common cause is physical damage. If your key fob is dropped or hit too hard, it can damage the internal components and cause it to stop working properly. Another common cause of key fob failures is water damage. If your key fob gets wet, it can short out the electronics and render it unusable. Two, wrong key. If you've recently changed your Jeep's key fob, it's possible that you're using the old one by mistake. The new key fob might not be programmed yet, so it's not being detected. Make sure you're using the correct key fob and that it's been properly programmed before, assuming there's another problem. Three, bad connection. Another possibility for why your Jeep key fob is not being detected is due to a loose connection. To check for this, you will need to open up the key fob and check the connections. Make sure that all of the wires are securely connected and that there are no damaged wires. If everything looks good, then test the key fob again to see if it is working. If it is still not working, then you may have a faulty key fob. Four, dead key fob battery. When your key fob battery dies, it can prevent your Jeep from starting. The key fob relies on a battery to communicate with the Jeep's computer system. When the battery is dead, the Jeep does not receive the signal it needs to start. As a result, you may find yourself stranded with a dead key fob and a Jeep that won't start. In some cases, you may be able to use the emergency key to start the Jeep, but this is not always reliable. Five, programming problem. Another possibility is that there's an issue with the programming of your Jeep key fob. If you've recently replaced the battery in your key fob, it might need to be programmed again. This is a relatively simple process that can be done by most Jeep dealerships or locksmiths. Six, faulty door lock. Sometimes the door locks can become worn out and will not work properly. Other times, the door locks may be frozen or jammed. If you think that your door lock is the reason why your Jeep key fob not working, then you should try to replace it. Seven, radio interference. Another possible reason why your Jeep key fob not working is because of radio interference. This usually happens when there are other electronic devices that are near your key fob. Some examples of these devices include cell phones, laptop computers, and even garage door openers. If you think that radio interference is causing your key fob to not work, then you should try to move away from any electronic devices that are close to you. Eight, Jeep battery worn out. If neither of those solutions solves the problem, it's possible that the battery in your Jeep or car is worn out and needs to be replaced. This is a more common problem in cold weather because the battery doesn't work as well in cold temperatures. If this is the case, you'll need to replace the battery in your Jeep or car before your key fob will start working again. Nine, blown fuse. It's also possible that a fuse has blown in your Jeep. This usually happens when there is an electrical short somewhere in the Jeep. If you think that a fuse has blown, then you should check the fuse box and replace any fuses that are blown. 10, 
broken wire in a key fob. When you press the button on your Jeep key fob, it sends a signal to the car telling it to unlock the door or turn on the engine. If there is a broken wire inside of the key fob, that signal can't get through and the car won't respond. The most common cause of a broken wire in a key fob is simply wear and tear. Over time, the wires can get frayed or stretched, which can cause them to break. Another possible cause is if the key fob is dropped or otherwise damaged, misaligned buttons or broken contacts. Another possible reason why your Jeep key fob is not working is because the buttons or contacts are misaligned. This can happen if the key fob is dropped or otherwise damaged. If the buttons or contacts are misaligned, they might not be making a good connection when you press the button. As a result, the signal from the key fob might not be getting through to the car. In conclusion, key fobs are a great way to add an extra layer of security to your Jeep as well as making it easier to get in and out. But sometimes they cannot be detected. There are several potential reasons why your Jeep key fob not working properly. However, there are also several potential solutions that you can try yourself before taking it to a mechanic. With a little investigation and some trial and error, you should be able to figure out what's wrong with your Jeep key fob and get it working again in no time. I appreciate your time to watch that interesting and educative video. I am sure you have got value. Kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel and turn on the bell to be the first to get notified when we drop a new video. Catch you all next time.